Hello guys, in this short video I will show you how to characterize uh, the filters using just a simple equipment, a DVB-T dongle and a simple noise uh, source. So you have to build one, to buy one, or if you already have the uh, Noilac uh, up converter, uh, you have the white noise generator on board. So finally, uh, this is a place where you can use your uh, your generator to characterize the, the, the filters. Besides that, uh, we need a simple piece of software. It's a Touchstone, Touchstone software, uh, freeware version, where uh, you can have something like this. Actually, it's a spectrum analyzer where you can uh, analyze the spectrum that your uh, DVB-T dongle is receiving. The only uh, odd thing is that the maximum span we can use is uh, 300 megahertz, but this is good enough for us. So, uh, I can uh, show you how it's working. What we can see here, this is actually a noise floor. The signals you are seeing, uh, this, uh, this is leakage. This is leakage because the DVB-T dongle is not, uh, it's not uh, sealed properly for the RF, and uh, these signals are coming uh, through, the, through the plastics and through the coaxial cable. But never mind, uh, I will now connect the, my signal source uh, which is amplified uh, by the LNA for all or any other kind of uh, amplifier just to give some more power because my, my noise source is a really low power used for the measuring the noise figure of the, of the devices. So I will, uh, I will uh, just connect the, the noise source and then you will see you will observe the the signal. Difference in the spectrum analyzer. So here we are. So this is our signal. It's not flat. Of course, the response is not flat due to various things the sensitivity of the DVB-T dongle on the lower frequencies as well as the characteristic of the, of the noise generator. But good enough for us. So the, I'm spanning from uh, the center frequency is 145 megahertz and the span is uh, 300 megahertz. So let's say from zero up to uh, 300 megahertz, more or less. So this is the, this is the signal that is going from the noise source to the DVB-T dongle. And now I will, uh, I will connect the filter. I will connect, I will disconnect the bridge. And I will connect a simple filter, a helix filter, three-pole helix filter, a good one, for the 145 that I'm using for my satellite observation and satellite monitoring. So this is the three-pole filter, the noise generator, DVB-T dongle, and this is the characteristic of the filter. So, uh, so you can uh, you can observe the pass band. So, and also approximately you can uh, measure the losses in the filter. So let's say on 120 megahertz, we have minus 115 comparing to the minus 79, and you can read the attenuation. Of course, we are limited with the dynamics, with the dynamic range of the DVB-T dongle, but still good enough to 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 characterize the filter and to see what is going on. So. I can uh, I can do another thing. I can change the the bandpass filter with a simple notch one. So in case you need to kill some uh, unwanted signal, 
you can always create a simple notch printer. It's just a, a stub filter, a simple piece of coax, quarter uh, lambda, and it should create a notch on a certain frequency. Of course, the notch can be calculated by the length of the, of the coax. So let's see what is going on. So this is the characteristic of our notch filter. And we can see that the notch it's on 180 megahertz and uh, minus 103 and uh, comparing to the minus 77, something like 26 dB of the attenuation, which is not bad for this type of coax and the Q factor. So this is uh, quickly how you can characterize the the filters. In the next video, I can show you the same thing with the uh, ADSB filter. So, thank you for watching. 984 Korean Vector.